In the previous videos, we have discussed separately regarding the derivation process for a singly reinforced and doubly reinforced sections. This video is going to demonstrate to you the entire pictures in determining the bending strength of a reinforced concrete sections which can be singly reinforced or doubly reinforced sections. The relevant equations are summarized here. Normally at the analysis stage, with a given size of the member, we are still not sure whether the section is going to be singly reinforced or doubly reinforced. So, normally we will start to determine the k first. The k is given by these equations, which is in the functions of m per fck bd square. The calculated k value here needs to be checked against the number of 0 0.167. If the k is equals or less than 0 0.167, we will know that it is a singly reinforced section. If the k is greater than 0 0.167, that means the sections will be doubly reinforced. The design of singly reinforced sections is more straightforward. First, you need to determine the lever arm of the sections. It should not be greater than 0.95D. Once you determine the lever arm, substitute the relevant value, you will be able to obtain the amount of reinforcement bar required for the singly reinforced sections. In this case, no compression steel bar is required. As for doubly reinforced sections, you will need to use this equation. The lever arm here is actually equals to 0.82D. Or you may use the equations for the lever arm where the K here it will be equals to 0.167. As for the AS prime, you may use this equation. The derivations of the equation AS prime has been discussed in the previous video. For you to use these equations, you need to determine the compressive stress generated within the compression steel bar. At the ultimate limit state, the steel bar may have yield or may not be yield. To know whether the compressive steel bar is yielded, you need to check the ratio of d prime per x against 0 0.38. If it is equals or less than 0 0.38, you know that the compressive steel bar has yielded and therefore the stress within the steel bar it will be equivalent to the design stress of the bar. However, if the ratio d prime per x is more than 0 0.38, you know that the compressive stress in the steel haven't reached to the yielding stage. And then you need to find the exact compressive stress due to the strength developed within the compressive steel bar. This equation is basically derived from the strength relationship within the section and the positions of the neutral axis is given in this equation. Once you have obtained the AS prime, substitute the equations into this you will obtain the tension reinforcement bar area required. The outcome of the design for the doubly reinforced sections, it will be AS and AS prime, which represent the area of the tensions and the compression steel bar. 